The word convergence describes the general trend for technology to become smaller and more functional. We can see this in the various new form factors that bridge the gap between laptop and tablet. I'm a huge fan of convergence because to me, it means freedom. As a writer, having an ultra mobile computer means I can work from anywhere and without having to carry a heavy bag filled with wires and adapters. While phones appear to be getting bigger rather than smaller, that's because they're packing in more functionality now than ever before and replacing our larger devices. The first phablets literally put the tablet in our pocket and as phones become more and more powerful, they're gradually starting to replace our computers as well. The ultimate realisation of this can be seen in initiatives like Microsoft's Continuum and Samsung's DeX. If you want a full desktop productivity environment on your phone though, we're still a little way off. Multi-screen multitasking solutions on Android leave something to be desired, and the best place to work is still a desktop or a laptop computer. Or is it? Believe it or not, it is actually possible to get a fully functional version of desktop Ubuntu up and running on your phone, as long as you've got an Android and you've got Root. I'm Adam Shinitsky, stay tuned and I'll show you how I got this to work. Yes, this really is full desktop Ubuntu running on a Galaxy S6 Edge Plus. It's running in Troot and you can do everything it can do on a PC, including installing new applications through the terminal. You can even choose from a variety of different distributions, flavours and desktops. So how do you get this on your own device? As mentioned, you'll need to start out by routing your device. The process is slightly different depending on what phone you're using and your version of Android, but if you've got a common brand, then you should be able to find easy instructions online and it's normally a fairly quick and painless process. Once that's done, you'll need to install three different apps. These are Linux Deploy, BusyBox and VNC Viewer. Each of these can be found on the Play Store. So BusyBox gives your phone access to Linux commands that it otherwise wouldn't have and it's required for a number of root apps to work. Once you've installed it though, you don't need to worry about it again. Instead, open up Linux Deploy and make sure it has root access. Now, hit the small download button on the top or bottom right of the screen. This will bring you to the options menu and most of the settings in here can be left as they are, but this is where you'll select your Linux distribution. Everything is here from Debian and Ubuntu to Kali Linux, Gentoo, Fedora and more. Picking the suite will change the flavour of Linux. You can try them all or you can do a little research and choose whichever one you like the looks of most. Down the bottom you can also choose which desktop environment you'd like, which will change the look and feel of the app. Tick Enable under GUI to ensure you have a graphical interface to work with, and check out the GUI settings just below that to change things like the resolution. For my Galaxy S6 Edge Plus I find that 1024 by 576 works best, you can toy around with this later. Set your username to root to give yourself privileged access and make a note of the password or change it to something more memorable. Now click the menu that looks like three dots and choose install. This will take a little while so go and make yourself a cup of tea. This is installing the entire Linux distro on your device so you don't have to do a thing. When it's finished, just click the start button to run it in Troot, which is essentially a small sub-compartment on your device. And remember you'll need to hit stop here when you're done as well. So it's running but you can't see it yet. So finally, you'll use VNC Viewer in order to actually view the GUI. Load it up and set the address to localhost colon 5900. Then enter the password that you set earlier. And with that, as long as your version of Linux is up and running, you'll be golden. You'll be able to see it, move around and do whatever you like here. Now if you want to start adding more software, just head into the terminal and type apt-get install and then the name of the app you want to install. So LibreOffice is a Microsoft Office alternative, IceWeasel is essentially Firefox, Idle is Python Idle, GIMP for GIMP, the image editing software, Nautilus-Dropbox if you want Dropbox, or Software-Center for an app store, although this one wouldn't run on my distro. 
Other than that, it's entirely up to you what you want to do with your new Linux environment. You really can use this for some basic productivity as long as your screen is big enough. You'll need a keyboard and a mouse. I'm using the Microsoft Folding Keyboard and the Microsoft Wedge Mouse. Even if you don't use it for productivity though, it's fun trying out some of the different games and utilities in the software center and just trying your hand at Linux. Or you can show it off to people down the pub, but they won't be as impressed as you hope they will. So I hope you found this interesting guys. If you did, then please consider liking, sharing and subscribing and maybe leaving a comment down below. If you've struggled with anything, then be sure to check out the full article at androidauthority.com, which should be linked in the description below. There you'll be able to find more detailed instructions, as well as some links and some alternatives for those without root. And while you're there, why not take a look around and see if anything else catches your eye? After all, we are your source for all things Android. Thank <laughs> you.